Breaking news, according to my source, Ed Boon plans to bring Cole Young in as DLC for MK12. Now I asked my source if he had any of that good old movie news information over there, and by God, he happened to have some. Now the information I was able to receive is the fact that Ed Boon is officially on the Brain Trust team for the Mortal Kombat universe, meaning that Ed Boon is involved with the animated series, he's also involved with the actual movie Mortal Kombat 2 coming up. Now, I am told that he was involved with Mortal Kombat 1, but at an unofficial capacity. But for Mortal Kombat 2, he is heavily involved with this game and I cannot wait, not game, with this movie and I cannot wait to see what it's gonna turn out to be. Now, Cole Young has been highly received over there by the production company of Mortal Kombat and that is all everybody needs to know for Mortal Kombat to put Cole Young in the game. The bosses are happy and they want Ed Boon to be the bridge to connect the continuity to be able to connect everything together. Now remember what the CEO president or boss has said, it's all about being one family and being on one page and under one accord, which means they want to merge every single thing that they can. Everything is gonna be connected across the board. That's what they're focused on doing from animation to games and things of that nature. Now don't worry, a lot of you been asking me to break down that earnings call. I'm definitely gonna be breaking down that earnings call and putting together a nice little uh, think piece for you guys to be able to enjoy. Now, I know you guys saw my video earlier where I told you guys that um, MK12 should not come out in 2023. I gave you a, um, a personal opinion video. That video had no leaks in it or anything like that. So for those of you that are interested in other content that is not leaks, I suggest you to check out, check out the video that dropped before this one a little earlier. Um, I think it was really good. You'll probably like it. You'll get some good insight over there. But Ed Boon plans to bring Cole Young in as DLC for MK12 as a movie skin pack, as well as with other fighters. So we will be getting different renditions of characters. Like we'll get, of course, Louis Tan. We'll get the people that played Liu Kang and Kung Lao and Raiden and all that stuff. It'll be their movie skin. Now, this is not far-fetched at all because they did do this in Mortal Kombat 11 where they went and they got the people who played the original Mortal combat characters or at least some of them uh what was his name Kristen Lamberg or whatever his name was the guy who played Raiden they got him and put him in Mortal Kombat as a skin and they went and got other people and put them in as a skin too so this does not seem far-fetched at all this is highly believable because it's already been done before so before I go any further I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below do you think Ed Boon will be putting Cole Young in MK12 as a movie skin I mean, he's done it before, right? So what would stop him from doing it again? But I just want to kind of give you my take on it real quick. Adding Cole Young as DLC and MK12, I don't know how I feel about that because it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. It can be a bad thing because it's like, dude, why would y'all force this character on us? We don't like him. We don't want him. Get him the hell on up out of here. The movie made no sense. Like, why do everybody keep beating on Goro? Like, Goro got the brakes beat off him. They keep doing that. Like, for example, they beat the brakes off Goro. And then they got characters like Reptile. They beat the brakes off Reptile. Reptile don't get no love. Who else? Um, Kong Lao. They always killing Kong, Yao, Kong Lao in every timeline. We get his neck snapped or something like that. And I'm just tired of it. Like, we can't even enjoy the characters. Do y'all really got to clap them? Y'all really got to clap every character that come on screen. Come on now. Then they got Devorah going around killing people's favorite characters and stuff like that. Like, I can't get jiggy with that at all. So I'm going to need y'all to kind of calm down and actually start taking out some of these villains. And stop letting the villains get the upper hand all the time. Like, come on, dog. We, we can't do that at all. That's, something, that's not something we need to be doing at all. But anyway... Cole Young joining MK12 could be a bad thing because it can just kind of show how money talks at the end of the day. The big wigs, WB, and all of them kind of want to force the movie into the game of somewhat. You know what that means if that happens, right? If that happens and when that happens, it's going to be one continuity across the board where the movie continues through the game and the game continues through the movie. The movie continues through the comics and it kind of fills in like the little plot holes and stuff now that would be pretty cool if i'm being honest but i don't want them to write themselves into a corner where it's like oh we can't do this because we gotta check with the movie people we gotta check with the animation team to see what they got going on no 
I think they all should do their own separate things and you can just kind of create like little, I want to say different realities. Oh, excuse me. But you should be able to create different pockets of the universe to where they don't kind of interfere with each other and you only make it so they are connected when necessary or when needed to be connected because the way they're going about things now i don't even know how i feel about it um as far as them talking about putting cole young putting cole young in the game i don't think it's a good idea at all but now that we looked at the bad stuff let's actually look at some of the good stuff that can come from putting cole young in the game putting cole young in the game could be a good thing as far as the movie you know the movie being good the movie generating it could bring over those fans like if we looking at it from a business perspective because i am a businessman at the end of the day and you got to follow those numbers you got to do what the numbers say and not how you feel i understand that better than anybody you know so with that being said i also think if they decide to take that route according to this leak they will if they decide to take that route It'll be good as far as generating those sales because um, the Mortal Kombat movie was the best selling WB property that was on their lineup. We got to give them credit for that. Mortal Kombat sold tremendously and outsold everything else. So which means it got a new fan base. It tapped in some of that old fan base and brought back that new fan base. So it will merge with that new fan base. So if the people who watch the movie that never seen it before, they like Cole Young. I mean, from a business perspective, it only makes sense to put his character in the game right so that way people continue can continue to enjoy him i mean they already laid out kind of laid out his move set kind of laid out how he was gonna move i think his whole arcana thing is like having uh what is it, like armor or something like that he can have armor and stuff so like i would love to see how he's gonna have powers maybe they could do a little more expanded on that i think that's what they're probably gonna use mortal kombat 2 for to get that done but you know, they already laid some of the groundwork. Let's just see what can happen when um, the MK team actually decide to take that route and kind of clean it up a little bit. So at this point, I just want a Mortal Kombat game. So I'm not picky at all as far as how it's going to turn out. I really don't care. I'm just ready to play the game. But as I mentioned before, I don't think Mortal Kombat 12 should release this year because it's just far too crowded. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, there, it probably would be a good fight. You know, it would be a good fight. Uh, Tekken versus Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter versus Virtual Fighter versus versus, you know, King of Fighters. That would be great to see who becomes the um, the Mortal Kombat champion to see who get the most numbers from the fans and everything. And but I do want to go ahead and acknowledge this, though, and say um, competition is good for business because the only person that wins is the consumer. So I'm actually kind of glad to be honest with you on a different note that Street Fighter is applying all that pressure as well as Tekken because that's going to make NRS step their game up and they got to bring us a more polished game. So, you know, I guess that's me having an epiphany right in the middle of speaking to you guys because it's like, okay, I kind of see it now. They do come out this year that mean Ed Boon ready for all the smoke that's going to come with it. You know, but like I said, I just rather them come out by themselves and everything. But you can't avoid life without getting into a fight at some point in time. So I think this would be the perfect time for them to, uh, you know, to kind of get into a fight. But bringing Cole Young in as DLC to get back on topic here to stick on this one. And it's just uh, I think it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. It's one of them things where we just going to have to wait and we're going to have to see what we can do about it at this point in time, because um. I know a lot of people probably gonna pay play with him and look i'm gonna be honest with you what if they made cole young like a top tier character i think that really would piss people off if cole young comes in and be a top tier character before reptile or before you know one of the other characters on the roster i know i would be pissed because cole young is not top tier he's just some random failed boxer that just happened to get chased by goro etc 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 if it wasn't for their arcana he would have been dead in like 20 minutes probably less than 20 minutes I've been dead in like, in like two minutes, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. But I want to go ahead and pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below. How do you feel, again, about Ed Boon bringing Cole Young in as DLC, as a movie pack skin for Mortal Kombat 12? So again, it's not just going to be Cole Young. I'm, I'm mainly focused on Cole Young in the video, but it's really going to be uh, more so of a movie pack skin. It's not just going to be Cole Young. I can almost guarantee that or whatever. So... I truly want to know what are your thoughts 
and really quickly i want to go ahead and say this here and slap this up here on your screen make sure you guys go ahead and purchase that merch i got the according to my source merch it is ready to go you can purchase your exclusive merch now it is limited it's only going to be here for a limited time only go ahead and purchase it now if you want to get a discount on the merch you can do so by becoming a member on my channel you can become a member for 99 cent or you can become a member for 4.99 and you can get access to some of these videos early before they drop which will be one of the features and you are guaranteed to get a discount code that you can input to the system and get your clothing for anywhere for about 40 to 50 percent off or whatever the case is so you can get some of this cool merch i got jackets coming i got everything you could think of it's just coming we're gonna get you waved up is what i like to call it we're gonna get some sauce we're gonna get some sauce for the boss you know and a lot of you probably asking where did i come up with the according to my source merch well i figured since people on twitter were trying to clown me and i got counseled in the mk community and i got kicked out of the mk community is the first thing i can do to get my laugh back to get my get back is to drop some merch you know so the according to my source merch is here if you're a supporter of the wave report you just kind of like the vibe you like you know me being a lone wolf rebel going up against the entire mk community because i'm going up against roof monger i'm going up against super i'm going up against brush poet i'm going Going up against a uh, failed retired YouTuber Toten. I'm going up against the entire community all by myself, including Dynasty. So, you know, um, I'm really out here doing the thing. I'm doing the damn thing because I'm doing some crazy numbers or whatever the case is. You know, I might even do a video on that, bringing up some of the numbers and some of the comparisons and just showing y'all how lit I actually am and the reason why a lot of people are just kind of, you know, upset with me and upset with me being able to upload videos and provide you guys with all this content while they're struggling to make content over there you know so um that's basically that but i am going to be making another special forces video for you guys i'm gonna put it together i'm gonna put that together real good i think that's gonna come out super good or whatever so um i just got finished getting a couple of clips together and i share that video for you guys soon Again, I love making Mortal Kombat content. I'm not going nowhere. I'm here to stay, but I will be covering some other games in the future, such as uh, Tekken and such as Street Fighter. I'm not even a Street Fighter fan or anything like that. Of course, I played it here or there, but it was just never my cup of tea. Mortal Kombat was just a little too bloody for my taste, which is the reason why I went with it. And um, one of the other games that I hold near and dear to my heart is Killer Instinct, because Killer Instinct is like a polar opposite of Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking to review on the channel when they come out with a new uh, Killer Instinct game or whatever. So definitely, guys, I want you all to stay as still as you can because I have a great content coming to the channel. If you're watching this video for the first time, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications because this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily Mortal Kombat content. I told you guys I'm going to try to give you three videos a day. And that's exactly what I'm working on now. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these three peats and we looking to take over and do as much damage as we possibly can in this community as far as being the new gatekeepers or whatever it is, you know. So be on the lookout because I got more merch coming and one of my new merches is called Gatekeepers. So you want to check out, you want to um, stay tuned um and stay available for that because that gatekeeper merch is going to just be lit across the board we're not playing around i probably got some of the best merch in the community wait till you actually see now i want to go ahead and say this because youtube is going to record it and document it watch how all the other youtubers start coming out with new merch and trying to update their merch and stuff like that watch them bite me you don't hear nobody talk about their merch on a youtube channel because they merch trash and they know it's trash so watch dynasty super uh, roof monger failed youtuber totin and all these other guys come from out of nowhere trying to purse you know push their merch nobody's thinking about merch they just it's just there it just sits on a channel they not really promoting anything like that or whatever you know maybe one person i saw promote merch like once i think it was like true underdog because he got like a sponsorship or something like that that's the only reason he's promoting merch at this point in time but other than that that man ain't point he wasn't promoting no merch at all you know so um again a lot of great content coming for you guys i'm having fun this is the best time of my life if you're a fighting game it is truly rare to be in this era and this time because we're getting all these fantastic titles all at once and we don't have to be spread all over you know all over the place basically and that's one of my um <clears throat> 
one of my favorite things is that we're not spread it all over the place and we all can just kind of enjoy so what a time to be alive as a fighting game fan in this community because we have so many games that's coming out this year you know so be sure to check out other videos on the channel i don't want you to miss none of the good stuff at all and uh again as you can see here on your screen go ahead and get that according to my source merch i definitely do not want you to miss it you know like i said you need a discount code hit me up you got to be a member to get a discount code if you're not a member you cannot get a discount code you're gonna need to pay what you owe simple as that um you can get the shirt as you can see get it here in black you also can get the fully cover according to my source t-shirts this look really good i would love to see how some of y'all style that one it's gonna be dope and uh don't worry i'm gonna be hopping on camera soon and you're gonna see your boy in the merch but you gotta go ahead and collect one of these coffee mugs according to my source because you don't want to miss out on the source information if it's cold outside you can get you a nice little um you know a little long sleeve also this is the classic merch right here when i first hit 12k and did 2 million subscribers i got those limited edition bags up and for phone cases and the cups and stuff like that like comment subscribe so uh i'm really doing it i'm really stepping up i'm really moving forward and i would love for you guys to be able to purchase the merch that i got and everything and like i said if you do wear the merch i will be putting you on the channel you can see shoot me a video or screenshot whatever it is and i'm gonna make sure you get your notoriety for um wearing the merch and being a supporter and stuff so again i appreciate you guys thanks for watching if you're watching this video for the first time make sure you smash that subscribe button to turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily mortal kombat content thanks for watching catch you in the next one